Welcome to a video on the security features of GoToMyPC. In this tutorial, we will cover passwords and password resets, access code resets, security preferences, and one-time passwords. GoToMyPC operates with state-of-the-art security features, which include an SSL encrypted website, end-to-end 128-bit AES encryption, passwords, and include access codes that reside on the host computer and are never transmitted or stored to the GoToMyPC servers. Additional features include lockout protection, inactivity timeout, host screen blanking, and the ability to lock up the host keyboard and mouse. To begin, if a password is ever forgotten, go to www.gotomypc.com and click Forgot Your Password. Enter your email address and click Continue. You will then receive an email to change your password and will be able to log into your account. Once logged into your GoToMyPC account, Email and password preferences are managed in the My Account section. To change a password once logged in, click on My Account at left. In the User Information section, enter the current password, followed by entering the new password twice. The password must contain at least eight characters, including both letters and numbers. It is a best practice for the account password to be different than the access code. GoToMyPC does limit the number of times any user can attempt to log in sequentially. This helps to prevent against password guessing attacks. By default, three failed access attempts temporarily deactivates the account for five minutes. Access codes are required for every remote host PC login. Like the account password, it must contain at least eight characters with both letters and numbers. To change an access code, first be sure Go to My PC is running and you see the icon in your system tray. To make a change, right click on the Go to My PC icon and select Change Access Code. Enter the original, followed by the new access code entered twice. If the access code is forgotten, a manual reset at that computer is required. In this event, click on the Forgot Your Access Code link and enter the account email address and password. Once the computer and identity are confirmed, a new access code may be entered. Personal preferences can be modified in session from the GoToMyPC viewer window or by the GoToMyPC icon in the system tray. This window offers access to all personal preferences. In the Security tab of Preferences, it is recommended to check all three options here. The Lock Upon Disconnection option automatically locks the host PC when GoToMyPC disconnects. This feature works with Windows 8, 7, Vista, XP, XP Professional, but not with Windows XP Home. Next, Screen Blanking allows the screen of the unattended host PC to be blanked out while remotely connected. This is especially useful if others will be able to see the host PC's monitor. To save energy and to keep the screen's content private, it's also a good idea to turn off the monitors before leaving the host computer. The keyboard locking feature prevents others from using the host PC's mouse and keyboard while remotely connected. An activity timeout disconnects the viewer window if no mouse or keyboard activity is detected for a set period of time. The default setting for this feature is 15 minutes. One-time passwords can be found in the Authentication tab. The use of one-time passwords offers an additional level of security when using public terminals that may have keyboard loggers or other capture software. The one-time password system ensures that if the password is discovered, it will be useless to the person finding it. One-time passwords are comprised of six words, and each six-word combination provides one-time access to a host PC. Select one-time passwords from the Authentication tab, and on the Generate One-Time Passwords box, select the number of one-time passwords to generate. The minimum is 10, and the maximum is 99. Click OK and enter the access code for the host PC. Once confirmed, on the Print One-Time Passwords dialog box, select the font size, then click Print. Verify that the list is printed, then click Close. Remember, if all of the passwords are used up or the printout is lost, the access codes cannot be changed until the account holder is physically present at the host PC again. It is best to create a new list before the list of one-time passwords has exhausted. To disable one-time passwords, it is required to be physically present at the host PC and also requires a change of access code. Thank you for viewing this brief video on customizing your security features for GoToMyPC.